What's up team, we're back on the heads up Hyper Street, this time on Pokestars.com. So it will be a little bit tougher, but I'm ready. Let's beat these guys. I might, oh, pardon me. But I'm ready, let's beat these guys. It's early in the morning in Germany. Um, today's the server restart on Stars, so I thought I might as well record some videos. That you can watch during my trip to Berlin. He looks like a good player. Obviously betting. Gonna be betting on the king again. But you tank a little bit longer. And gonna be checking the river here. What do we champs for value? I mean, have you ever checked folding in the river? The thing with jamming here is just that we get called by Vika to pair. And if you just check it, he will check that back. Wow, that was a sick jam on my side, I think. We win it, guys. That was a sick jam on my side. Let's go, man. What a start to the session. $30 up. I don't think we want to play against him, though. He looks pretty good. Let's find another opponent. Alright, we hopped in this match with the Russian. The thing is, like, the problem okay with the ace king there. We are not checked folding. So if he check, he will check back his weaker two pairs. And he will jam hands if he lose to. So. Yeah, I think jamming is better. We're going to be betting the turn here. We're going to be betting the river. Sweet. Not a bad start here to the heads up session, guys. Let's go. Checking is three. We can't flop. And raising as a bluffy on the turn. And jamming the river. We tried to wrap two pair here to push above an eight. Let's go, guys. Let's fucking go, man. I think we play some good poker today, guys. I'm limp calling this one. Checking the flop. Calling the turn. And fall in the river. Mm-hmm. Can we change the same for suited here? I think he has more limb folds than the cards there and Sam for suited has pretty good equity even if we get caught. Those we will jam as well. Alright, let's win a flip. Low card. Alright guys, we have 60 bucks on the session. I'm down for another one, mate. Alright, alright. Let's go. Not a bad start here to the session. Let's make things happen, guys. Limping the king fourth. We're also flopping really well, obviously, on the flip in the end. Feels good. That's a ball I bet on a high, like C bet, really often. Gonna be check calling here with, with uh, third pair. We tank a little bit on the turn. Make it a little bit less likely for him to be bluffing. Now we tank for a long time and then check. As if we were thinking if we should check, raise a check here. I think, you know, when we tank down the, ri ri uh, on the river, he will just check back much more hands. The... Gonna be calling this with the 6 5 and we flopped straight. The nizzles! Are we just calling here, even though there are a lot of bad turns? And probably it's just as an overpair here, we just call him down. Or 
he doesn't have a set here. Just his aces, we got him guys, we got him, we have 90 bucks, let's go. Oh my god, what a good heads up session, man. Feels good, man. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Absolutely crushing here. Oh. Well, there's some guy in the chat. <laughs> Probably checks out the burden package. A little bit of a white float here, obviously. But when you hit the queen in the turn, it's pretty simple. And I think we want a better pull rest precisely on the river. Obviously, still some aces, but that way we get heroes from a 7 and a 10. Oh my god, guys. I, this is like, we are just absolutely crushing here. Unreal. He had the 8-7. The bet sizing, guys. It's all about the bet sizing. Holy fuck, we're crushing. <laughs> Decent floppy for us. Gonna be check calling here. He will bet this flop at a really, really high frequency. And I'm full to turn. Maybe a little bit too tight. Living the Queen's Time Suit. This gets close to a jam now. But we are calling. And we're getting it in here on the flop. He just has way more bluffs than nines and we want to protect our hand. Man, let's win every every single heads up here in this episode. Alright, that's a pretty good flop. I mean he has 10 bigs here. If it's like 25, I think we just jam it again. He checks it back though. We're checking the turn here as well. And making it straight on the river. I think we bet and fold a few champs. Mm. Don't have to be right off from here. I think we actually call this. Okay. I think like I expect him to see better hand like that, so I don't think he has super many sevens. But maybe he should still fold. Hmm. He's done to eleven bigs, guys. That was like a little bit of a mistake there. We'll float him here. Oh my god, man. What a feeling. When you just float and hit the nizzles on the turn. And we bet big again here. On the river. I think that's the only way we get heroed. Gotta be having a polarized sizing on that river. Six of suit, we will jam a few limbs. Can't call a jam though. Gonna be folding the 410 here as well. Queen 5 will be a full as well, but glad if we take the ward. Glad if we get the walk. Jam the A6 here. I have a trap with like A8 plus, I think. King 4 would be close to a call, I think. It's still a fold though. 6 4 if he folds. We could limp that. Hmm. He limps, we check. Oh my god. Classic mystic. I will check in the flop and go for a delayed C, but here I think that looks much stronger. Alright, alright, saved it, saved it. Snapping here with the ace9, but we got the walk. 10 for suited, we jam. It's close though. Taking it down, we got him on the ropes, guys. Jack 5 is a fold here. Man. Pretty long heads up match here. Ah, we could limp the 6 8. Maybe, but like, I hate limping with like under 8 bigs. It just doesn't feel good. God, dude. He's making a little comeback here. Because we only get shitty hands and have to give him the walk, but you know, nothing can do about that. Let's see a flop here with the A10. He will open channel off his weak A sex, so we should definitely call the flop. Uh, he just knows that I don't have that many aces, and I'm not folding queen there, but maybe just three barrels. I don't know, I think we should call down there with the queen and fold the 8. Easy chain with the checks, I'm suited, we are flipping. Come on, come on, come on, check seven. No. We're still alive though. We worked hard for that chip lead, guys. Queen five off here, man, for six picks. Got a thing that's a fold. It's actually a car. Let's go. We're flipping again. This time it looks good for us. No deuce. Alright, alright. We're back in the chip lead. 
Only small one though. Queen 5 is a jam. Which is might not be jam. Why did I jam that? Oh my god. Queen 5 off for 10 should not be a jam. It is close. It's close to a jam actually. So it wasn't horrible. I think we got a card for 5. Yep. And here's King Queen again. Can we get a 4 this time? Just a 4. GG ass guys. I think we played that pretty well. Um, oh boy. But it kind of sucks, man. <laughs> we won three though and lost one, right? Yeah, so we still up 90, 60 bucks. You know three? Yeah, we up 60 bucks. I mean, I'm down to play some more with that guy. That is for sure. And let's see. I mean, I, I don't think he's like that terrible. He definitely made some light calls. We're gonna be betting here to turn. Probably has probably some showdown value. And gonna be betting big on the river again. Gotta have a polarized sizing on that run out. Whew, that's a pretty disgusting river there. He would definitely call it like on the river without the four as well. And that just sucks. That just sucks. We're checking here. Decent flop. I think we check race actually. Checks the back door. Then you turn here. Then checks the flop there. Wow. Didn't expect him to have any give ups on the nine. I mean, we limp this. This is kind of weird. Yeah, I think we jam over that. But it's the first time he does something like that. Alright, alright, nice. With this one. Then we need King 4 here. I mean, this is a really interesting heads up match so far. I mean, I really enjoy these heads up, heads ups, especially this one. We bet here with our third pair on a really connected board. So it is really bad. A lot of the draws he caused with on the flop that just got there. Hopefully, you can just check it down and beat the weaker four. That is some sick value on the flop, guys. <laughs> Alright, we're almost back to even. Ooh, he gets a little bit aggressive. Most likely, it was a small pocket pair. I mean, he hasn't gotten like super out of line yet. Gonna be checking here. Gonna be checking again. And going for a small bet on the river. I think that looks pretty bad. Gonna be limping the eights after he champed. Because our limbs are like more and raised more, I feel. So we definitely wanna be trapping here. Gonna be checking the back on the flop. Gonna be checking the turn. And I mean he doesn't have a ten. I mean he could have a ten to check it. It's tough to get bait there. If you only get bait from like a river at five, I think that's maybe a little bit too thin. Checking a seven four. Might just fold the flop here because like even a ten has like decent equity here. And I think this is not a bot that he's over betting. Like maybe he does it with something like King Jack, you know, but like even Queen Ten has so much equity versus us. Did I just make a tight fold there? If he had like a bit better kicker than the four, like something that like maybe is a little bit connected with the straights as well. I think it's an easy call. We see bad here with our gut shot. Take it on back into the chip lead. Ace eight now. Gonna be champing this versus a race. If he champs, we got a call. He limps it. Easy champ pass. And he wasn't trapping us. Alright. Check 7 for 15, we're gonna limp fold. He checks it. And we check it back. And check and turn. And he wins with King High. Alright, come on, 4 5. Got a shot again, gonna be floating him. Tank a little bit. Might go for a check race. Nah, we can't check race here. Nah, we'll just give it to him. Seems like a little bit weak to be full in that turn. I'll just open jam this one for 15. Just jamming. Alright, alright. Blinds go up, man. These are some long heads up matches, guys. These are some long heads up matches for sure. And we jam it here. 
And Trapdos with Ace King. We need an 8. Just an 8, mate, come on! Damn, we just got these cooler situations where we can't do shit. I hope you enjoyed the episode though, guys. We still made 30 bucks profit. I see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you on the Fed. Good luck.